Look, I can't keep living the lie, all right? I didn't quit smoking. Mm. I cut back. I didn't quit. I'm sorry, but if I'm going to do these videos, I got to have a freaking cigarette. All right. It's all, all right, so, so, so let's, let's get past that. Mm. I'll put that down. So a lot of you guys who, who follow this channel know me as like, you know, total Mopar guy, total like old school points guy, you know, carburetors and all that. You know, the vast majority of the material we do is, is that way. It's all so anti-EFI. But you don't really know my history. You know, some of you guys know me from like, you know, the old days, but the vast majority of you don't. So in a previous life, I used to do magazines. And back in the 80s, I was actually at the forefront of the whole EFI performance movement, you know. Um, I, uh, I, I used to write for, uh, for well, I wrote, for, I wrote for a lot of magazines, but this one was my baby. This was Cars Illustrated. Um, we published this out of Hackensack, New Jersey, uh, between like 1985 and like 1988. And then because of, of, of things that transpired, this magazine actually uh, morphed into Muscle Mustangs and Fast Forts which became the Bible for the five liter Mustang movement. And it started actually here um, with this issue. Uh, this wasn't the first issue in a magazine. This was the first issue where, where, where the, the, the five liter Mustang actually became, you know, I was a pioneer in the Fox body five liter Mustang movement. That's my car on the cover. That wasn't just a, a regular test car. That was one that I actually bought. And we, we drove it from the dealership to where the car only had about four or five miles on it when we took those pictures. Um, drove from it right to the dealership to where we used to street race these things on uh, uh, South Avenue on Staten Island and took that picture. Um, here's a column I used to do. That's me with, with, with a lot of fucking hair. I don't have that anymore, but you know, that, that's cool. But you see, look, they call me Tony Mopar, but I drive a Ford. Yeah, that's me, right. And then, and then here's, let's, let's see if we can find this now. Uh, oh, here. this was uh, up until, up until the Mustang thing. Let's find this. This was my daily driver. That was a, a 70 Roadrunner, three to three, four speed. There's me, you know, happy. Still had a bunch of hair right there. Um, and this was, hang on now. See, because it, because I, I tried to find these things ahead. Okay, here we go. So I, that's the drag test that we did on the Mustang. So this was actually the first official 13 second five liter Mustang. Um, and we reprinted this whole story on uh, UncleTony'sGarage.com. So if you guys want to read it, you know, just go there and, you know, the whole thing's there. So at any rate, um, like I said, it, you know, it was an amazing time, the 80s, for me, you know, well, for a lot of people, but the 80s for me, you know, doing the magazines, I was a young guy, I was only like 23, 24, 25. It was, it was just, it was, it, you know, it was really living the dream. We were out literally, we were street racing seven nights a week. Like from the time the sun came down to the sun came up, you know, all over New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia, uh, anything we could get our hands on. Um, it was just an amazing time. And we were getting paid for it. And we were doing it like, you know, with, with you know, cars that Detroit was giving us and, and, and our own hot rods too. So, um, but anyway, the reason I'm telling you this is because we actually gathered together a bunch of people from those days uh, to talk about the, 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 the genesis of the Mustang movement. And, you know, and it, you know that, that started here with these cars. Um, Neil Van Opry, who was uh, who? Who also ran a Mustang back then? Uh, actually, we had we, we worked for the same magazine. Uh, he ordered his car. I like two weeks later, I ordered my car, and we had a, an, an, an inter-office rivalry going between the two. And uh, uh, and then uh, also there was Steve Collison's car, Mean Mr. Mustang, and we have actually found that car, and we're going to go visit that car uh, this coming weekend. This coming weekend, we're going to be shooting basically this this documentary. Evan Smith, who you guys know from Muscle Mustangs and Fast Forts, if you you know if you're into that, he's he's huge into the whole. He ran NHRA stock eliminator cars, you know, Fox Mustangs, and um, it, he'll be there with us also. And we rounded up a bunch of guys from you know these days. So 
you know, I don't, I don't usually do like to do just promo stuff, but I think this is going to be a really special thing, and uh, and, and you guys are definitely going to want to check it out. And uh, also a shout out. Oh my God, the dog attacked Uncle Kathy and pulled the camera out of her hands. So all right, so anyway, um, shout out here to Mike Dell who sent us a couple of these T-shirts. Talk about the '80s in New York. His old man ran a a, a Cadillac repair place in in Bensonhurst. And uh, Mike reproduced these shirts from an old screen print that he found, you know, just like, you know, just to honor his old man. I think that's really cool. And uh, thanks for sending us the shirts. So um, that's it, you know. Uh, we're running up to New Jersey next week to shoot this thing. And it'll be up, uh, I guess, when? Probably about the middle of the, the week of the 13th. The middle of the week of the 13th? That's June. That's, yeah, no. That's June. <laughs> And it's not even like, you know, yeah, okay, look, it'll be up. We're shooting it on the 13th. <laughs> we're shooting it, yeah. It'll happen, you know, and you'll see it. And uh, I guess that's it. Is that it? I think that's it. That's it. See you tomorrow.